y'all. I had to step outside. It's nice out right now. Let's see here. There we go. Uh oh, you can hear my baby boy. Everybody's saying right now. Hi. There she is. Oh, you figured it out. Is hey. <laughs> How are you? I am um, hanging in there. I, I, my feet have not touched the ground since yesterday. Um, no. I'm. You're glowing, all, right? Huh? You're glowing right now. You're glowing. Am I? Yeah. It's. Yeah, uh, I. I. Uh, it's it's a weird combination of exhilaration. My feet are off the floor, and I'm completely ungrounded. And. Um, you know, I'm so used to being unemployed that, um, and most freelancers, you know, to have, <laughs> I mean, aside from like the great people and the great scripts to, yeah. to, to, to have job security for another year. I mean, that's just, <laughs> it's, it's a really fine. It's people out here may not even know what we're talking about. Like I, I feel any freelance, whether they're a freelance artist or freelance any, they're gonna understand that. Yeah, oh, of course they yeah. can relate. Yeah, but I, at the same time, not just the, I mean, obviously the job security, but the fact that we have such a like a family. Like I, I keep on using the word like a family. Like we we've uh, established such a family in such a short amount of time. Short amount of time. We, yeah. They, Within the pandemic, it's like the, the constant conversation I have with everybody, but I just can't believe like all the stars have literally aligned for this to happen. So, yeah. I tell people that um, I, I've won the lottery, and then each yeah. time I'm like, I, I won another. The lottery's like expanding. It's just, it's, 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 um, it's incredible. And I, I was thinking, uh, why we bonded so quickly aside from the text thread was that when we do see each other because the only time we see each other is on set correct and the only time really any of us can socialize it's at all is being on set so it's like <laughs> we don't want to leave the set we don't want to <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy how everybody says that it's like nah, nobody wants to leave we might as well just like set up shop everybody just bring like camping bags and just it's just like, you know, start a campfire. I mean, we could all stay six yeah. feet. Yeah. We're outside, you know. <laughs> I'm used to wearing a mask. Oh, all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> all the time. That's awesome. So, come on, introduce, uh, introduce Marveline for us. Um, you know, just quick little. She's, she's, uh, she's, uh, <laughs> she's strong she's flawed she's um uh seen a lot seen a lot yeah. and has an equanimity about herself that um i don't think she always shows what she's feeling and i think she keeps things really close to her chest which might be a walker trait walker family trait i can see that for sure. I can see that. What's what's one thing that you, Molly, share with Marbeline that, that that's, you know, what, what do you relate to with her? Uh, a lot of loss. <laughs> um, uh, seen a lot. Um, well, that's enough. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. And uh, I'll jump into some fun questions, actually. You know, now that we've got a chance to talk about Walker and everything going on in the news and how excited we are. Um, but yeah. You're very good at this. I, no, trust me. Yes, no, you, you're I'm... very good at it. <laughs> don't, don't. Because they're going to ask me to do this again, please. Yeah, okay, no, you, you're horrible at this. I can't believe they asked you to do this. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a good time. It's just, you know, there's, there's always pressure. You know, it's it, it is a lot. And uh, yeah. I want 
keep I want to keep all these lovely people entertained and you know I'm just trying to do my job <laughs> but having people like you make it make it easy so that's why I was like you know what that's the secret let me just bring the cast they'll do the talking for me <laughs> uh fun questions I'm going to throw one at you um random how would you sell ice cream in Antarctica how would you do that <laughs> It'll actually make you warmer inside because the thrill of eating I used to sell ice cream for a living actually. Um it will how would I say I would I would I would I would talk about how it's the thrill of the cream and the sugar will warm you inside. Mm. I think you I think you got me. I think yeah. I like that. Not That's it's not real. It makes you cold, but I mean, but I would do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. It's all about selling the dream. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, I got another one for you. If you met a genie who offered you three wishes, what would you wish for? Um <laughs> This is going to be so political. Um uh the end of global warming, um <laughs> world peace and um to give me the ability to influence people to understand being in someone else's shoes. That's really good. That's yeah. That's needed. For sure. How about four uh, and all the chocolate I can have for the rest of my life. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got to have one thing for like yourself. You got to have yeah. one. Thing. I like that. <laughs> And then my third and final question. If you could give yourself, your younger self advice, what would it be? Oh. You are gorgeous. Why are you wasting any amount of time worrying about how fat you are, how this, how that, however? Like, oh my God, you're just wasting so much time. And by the way, you're gorgeous. And you just now realize that? Well, I would in 20 years I will need to say that to me now also. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. 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 Thank you, Molly. What uh what else do you have for me? Oh, well, um let's see. Oh, whatever, let's maybe maybe fl flip it. We should flip it and say ask you questions. Um so I watched really? Violets. I didn't I didn't know I don't know how many people you've already done, but I watched Violets and Violet was so first of all, she's so smart and she's so she's just a he, real human being. Yeah. And um and she was just like, "Well, I don't know, Jeff. What, 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 what about you?" And I was just like, "Why is this? Why? Is, she's so good. She's just she flipped it on me. I was like, oh, my God. What are you, oh, that was, that was genius. She, she is.'" And, uh, I don't <laughs> ask anyone else, but what is? What do you drink when you wake up? When I wake up, uh, well, first thing I drink is water. I like to, you know, I just drink a glass of water and then coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> I don't I don't go a morning without my coffee. Yeah, and, and, and all I need is a cup. So I'm not like, you know, one of these guys that have to have like three, four cups of coffee a day. It's just for some reason when I wake up, it's a ritual for me now. To have do, that. You, do you milk, cream, sugar? Nothing. Now I'm black. Now. Now. Like I think after my second child. <laughs> I, I Back in the day, I, I used to, you know, yeah, milk, cream, sugar, but now... I just like it straight black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, <laughs> what about I, you? I hate coffee. It tastes like dirt. No, that's not true. Oh, to me, I used to beg. Uh, I can't say that. I, I used to do Renaissance fairs, and I ate mud for a living. And so yeah. anything super earthy like that just tastes like dirt to me, and I can't do it. So what about tea? You do tea. Love tea. I, I, I love caffeine. Don't let me get okay. wrong. I mean, I love. Right. Uh oh, I think you froze. There we go. No, you froze for a second. Yeah. I'm surprised. We we only had a one difficulty just one time. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think that was it. I don't want to take up too much. Of uh, yeah, I mean, I feel okay. like you know, a bit like.
you know, someone behind, someone behind you, me is like doing this to you. Stretch it, Jeff. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> make it longer. Get her to talk more. But it's like on CNN. <laughs> At CNN, I watch these these um, these these interviews with people, and I watch someone interview like De Niro, and clearly yeah. De Niro did not have anything to say, right. and she just kept asking the same questions over and over again. I'm like, get him off, just get him off. This is so uncomfortable. Please just get him off, and 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 he, but she has a segment to fill. Yeah. You know, she's got like five, ten minutes or whatever, or she doesn't have anything else. It's just, you know. It, anyway, it was really painful. Well, see, so I, I'm going to prevent you from having to do that. No, painful. You're doing it right now. Look at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm quite sure all these people want to see your lovely face. So I, we could just sit here and stare at you. So it's just fine. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> and all the women are just going, so Jeff, how long have you been married? <laughs> how many children do you have? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to go there. Those questions, I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is in the other room right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> so funny. Uh, well, it's been really fun. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. All right. All right. I will see you soon. Bye.